Hey everyone, it's Kayla Ashley Plans, and welcome to my 2019 and January bullet journal setup. For this year, I am starting off with an Archer and Olive bullet journal, and I have the Shooting Star Silver Gilded journal, which is absolutely gorgeous. The reason why I wanted to try an Archer and Olive journal is because of how pretty their journal is, and also how thick the pages are. I believe they're 160 GSM, which is awesome because nothing bleeds through. And I also really like how white the pages are, because I am not a fan of the soft ivory colors when you have to use something like whiteout to correct any mistakes. One thing that you will see me using throughout this whole journal is this holographic silver vinyl from Cricut. I got a Cricut machine for Christmas and I also got this to go along with it and I thought it was super pretty and it matched the journal very well. I wanted to do a classic silver and black theme just to kind of match the journal and keep it very minimalistic. So what I did is I wrote 2019 on my iPad using my Apple Pencil on the app Procreate and I used the calligraphy pen and I sent it to my Cricut machine and had it cut out and I think it looks really cute and simple. I also added 2019 in between and a border and I love how minimalistic yet really pretty this page is. These next two pages are for me to reference back to while I am filling out my bullet journal throughout the year and I actually used it a lot while setting up my January bullet journal. They are dot reference pages, so on the left page I have a columns reference page and on the right I have a rows reference page and I found this idea on uh, Pinterest so I didn't make this up on my own but I was kind of curious as to how I could do this in more of a complicated way so that I could take out any of the guesswork with how many columns or rows I can fit onto the page. So I copied what I found on Pinterest and I will put that link down below. I think it's going to be super helpful to see how many columns and rows I can fit and see how many dots there are across and down the page. This next spread is my year at a glance spread and I really kept this simple because I usually use it just as a reference to see what days of the month are there, not to actually track events because I'll use my phone calendar for that. So it's just a reference for me to go back to in case I need to look at what the days of the month are. Then I took the silver holographic vinyl once again and I cut it to fit the page and I laid that down using this vinyl scraper that I also got and I used the Planning with K small 2019 calendars. This was so much easier than having to go in and write every single number so I found these super helpful and I used a sharpie paint marker to write the actual months above the stickers. So that's how easy and simple I made it but I really like how it turned out. The next spread is going to be something new for me and it's my year in pixel spread. Since this is my first time doing this spread, I decided to look on Instagram for inspiration and I found the perfect layout by at Steady Burrito and I just had to use it because the moods that she used described all of my moods perfectly and I couldn't find any words to better describe them. So go check at Steady Burrito out. I will link her down below. Her spreads are really awesome and you should go give her some love and credit. So basically what this tracker is for is to track your moods every single day and be able to see it all on one page. I'm really excited for what this will look like when it's filled out and it's also going to be really easy to relate your moods back to whatever was happening in your life at the time. So on the left hand side I wrote out the moods and color coordinated them. On the top is where I put the first letter of each month and on the right hand side I just numbered all of the boxes.
This next spread is going to be my social media tracker spread. So again, I am pulling out this silver vinyl. This took so much time, but I really like the way that it turned out. So if you have time, I recommend trying this out. I decided to cut out YouTube and Instagram logos out of this vinyl with my Cricut machine, of course, and place them down individually so that I have all of these YouTube and Instagram logos across the page. And then what I did after that is underneath each of them, I wrote in my silver jelly roll pen the number that I am tracking. So for instance, if I am tracking 450 subscribers, I wrote that below the logo and then I left space below 450 so that I could write in black pen the date that I reached that milestone. I wish that I had gone by 50 increments instead of 100 because 100 is a lot and I didn't realize until after I was done filling this out, but 50 is probably more of a realistic milestone. Um, so that's one thing I would change if I could. This next spread is my Etsy shop tracker spread so that I can track all of my orders and track when I completed them and when I sent them out. My Etsy shop right now is on a break just because I'm on break from university so I decided just to take a break and finish the orders that I have already. Um, so far I've completed four orders this break so I'm super excited about that but you can check it out at Kayla Ashley Plans and I will have everything back up soon. I'm hoping to start doing stickers now that I have a Cricut machine. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know down below. And then I just added more silver just to tie in the theme. Now we're finally going to start with January. The theme that I went for for January was new moons and wolves, and I know with wolves it's normally a full moon, but I thought a new moon would be more fitting for the new year. So using my Ecoline black water brush marker, I decided to create the new moon in black, and this paper is amazing because this brush pen did not bleed through, and it's actually a really juicy wet brush pen, so that was really cool. I went in with a white gel pen just to add some fur and definition to the wolf. And then what I did is I printed out January on the holographic vinyl, and I decided to place that across the wolf and the new moon. It was actually really difficult because of how thin some of the letters were in January, so it took me a little while. But overall, I really liked the way that it turned out. This next spread is my month at a glance spread and I enjoy doing a vertical layout rather than a calendar layout because it's easier to do, it's faster, and to me it's easier to look at. So what I do is I just make a little t-chart and I go up and down with the numbers of the month. Sometimes I'll add the first letter of the day as well next to it. I didn't this time but I might go back in and add it if it's easier for me. And then um, another thing I like about doing this month at a glance vertically is that I can see it right next to my cover page for the month, so it's right there. I also added some vinyl at the bottom just to get rid of that empty space. This next spread is my expense tracker, and I like to keep this really simple. It's just to track what I'm spending and kind of keep me accountable for what I'm spending. So what I do is I create this little table. I add a section for date, description, amount, and total. So in the amount, I will write if I um, earned it as well by adding a plus. So I do plus or minus, and then the total is how much I have left in my checking account after spending or earning that amount of money. And then at the bottom, you'll see that I added some more vinyl in a triangle shape just to add a little bit more of an interesting aspect. And then I also went and included a total box at the bottom at the right side of the page so that I can see my total expense at the end of the month. Thank you. 
The next spread is my habit tracker spread, and I used these stamps that I got from Wish.com, actually. They were very inexpensive, and the ink pad is from there as well. And these are so much easier than having to write every single day of the week in there, because I do like to track a lot of habits. I find that tracking habits keeps me more accountable for things, so it's super helpful for me. And I wrote my habits in using a silver jelly roll, and then I also added a drop shadow with this green gray Tombow marker. Finally, we are on to week one of January. So I decided to do a Dutch door spread and I made a half circle for a moon shape and adding something like this adds more space to your spreads but also can add design and elements to your spread that really make it come together. So at the top of the spread I wrote week one and then next to every day of the week I included a black circle as a new moon and used my white jelly roll pen just to write in the days of the week. Then at the top, I decided to use this holographic silver vinyl again and create strips at the top and the bottom just to add more and incorporate that holographic vinyl just so that we have this cohesiveness. And then next to each of the circles, I went in with my hard tip Tombow Fudenoski brush pen to write in the days of the week. This horizontal layout is where I will write down any tasks that I have to do for the day, such as homework or cleaning or going to the store, anything like that. But on the actual Dutch door, I wrote this week with all of the days of the week to write down any events that are happening. And on the back of this, I also included next week and did the same thing, just so that I can plan ahead at least a week to see what's going on next week and know what I have coming up. I went in with my gray Tombow brush pen just to add outlines to the Dutch door so that it stands out against the rest of the spread and also adds more of that moon effect. So that is it for my 2019 and January bullet journal setup. I really love how everything turned out. I think that using this silver holographic vinyl throughout the spreads made it really cohesive and really pretty and kind of tied in the silver gilded pages. I also like how the black and white is really classic and simple. So I hope that you enjoyed the way that this turned out too. If you did, please thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will start posting regularly again once I get back to school and have the filming space to do so. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I do like to post my spreads and also some other lettering challenges I do. And lastly, on my Etsy shop, I will be opening up my listings again soon, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have a great, happy, and healthy new year. Bye!